With the number of franchises successfully fed into their Lego machine, when it came time for Traveller's Tales to turn their eye to the next, Harry Potter must have seen the logical choice. With the films and books capturing the hearts and minds of millions, and a rich colourful world filled with magic and endless possibilities, it was practically a given. Harry Potter Years 1 to 4 bites off the first chunk of the series with gusto, thrusting the player into Harry's story at Book 1, and this is where the game immediately shuns the choose your own path style of its predecessors, with a strict linear approach to proceedings. But rather than box the player in, it actually makes perfect sense from both a story and gameplay perspective. Following Harry's story throughout his school years, the paced unlocking of skills and abilities with which to access new and previously hidden areas makes more sense within this framework than it has elsewhere. Early in Year 1, Harry can do little, however as the story progresses and classes are attended, new skills and spells are picked up, making for a very natural curve of skill progression which keeps pace with the unfolding story. Hogwarts and its grounds are large, full of hidden nooks, crannies and classrooms, from Snape's dungeon to the top of the Owlery, to the courtyards and corridors of the castle itself. There's lots to explore, collect and unlock. There are secrets within secrets, with hidden chambers tucked away behind objects, each with the usual gold Lego brick and parcel collectibles to be located. Portraits can be interacted with to help solve puzzles. Staircases move, skeletons jig and sofas each students and all this before you even start on the actual story levels. As far as the levels themselves go, they are pretty typical, using the combined skills of two or three characters, the player has to make their way through each level, solving puzzles in order to progress and defeat enemies. Very occasionally there will be a point which leads to the action grinding to a halt as you scratch your head, but nothing that smashing absolutely everything on the screen can't solve. Much of the gameplay, and indeed longevity, of the LEGO games is in backtracking and revisiting areas already covered in order to unlock and gather elusive collectibles and save students in peril. For this sin, it has to bear the usual accusations of repetitiveness. However, by now, most gamers will know what they're letting themselves in for, but for newcomers, it may come as somewhat of a shock. Not only has the gameplay been given a wash and brush up, but the graphical revamp and work of the new engine are obvious, with high quality backdrops and scenery surpassing previous LEGO games, delivering detailed and often beautiful representations of Rowling's world. The depth of the environment backdrops is greatly improved and the textures are impressive for a game such as this where, to be honest, high quality isn't necessarily expected. The customary co-op mode has been given a dynamic split screen allowing the players to wander off and explore, pinging quickly back to full screen once they rejoin making the two-player gaming easier. Ultimately, it's as accessible as its predecessors, with no prior knowledge of the franchise needed to be able to play, though arguably the player will get more from it if they have touched on the source material. With improved graphics and gameplay, Traveller's Tales have made their latest reskin of the LEGO formula a joy to play, rather than a predictable drag. While there are a few familiar niggles raising their head once again, they are more than outweighed by the depth and richness of the world and its environments. Standing above its predecessors with smooth natural gameplay and story progression, the world of Harry Potter has been blended seamlessly with the tried and tested Lego mechanics to make an enjoyable game, whether you're a Lego veteran or newcomer alike. <laughs>